Republican District 31 Assembly candidate Matthew Kopko is alleging that his opponent, Nicholas Rabalati, had his law license suspended twice in the past three years. According to a court order issued by New Jersey Supreme Court Chief Justice Stuart Rabner, Shiravalati, along with dozens of other lawyers, were administratively ineligible to practice law on October 27, 2014, for failing to comply with rules associated with the court's mandatory interest on lawyers' trust account program. They were reinstated on May 4, 2015. IOLTA's official website explains that a lawyer who receives funds that belong to a client must place these funds in a trust account separate from the lawyer's own money. Client funds are deposited in an IOLTA account when the funds cannot otherwise earn enough income for the client to be more the cost of securing that income. A nearly identical scenario took place on October 22, 2012, and Chiravalati, along with many other attorneys, was reinstated on May 10, 2013. At a small press conference in front of Bayonne City Hall last week, Kopko, also an attorney, demanded to know if Shiravalati practiced law at high-powered precipity firm Wiener Lesniak, where he's a partner, while he was suspended. Let me be clear. Nick was suspended from the practice of law in October of 2014 to May 2015. That is seven months of time. That is a long period of time. And to my understanding, Nick has been a partner at Senator Raymond Lesniak's law firm during this time. And in fact, this is not just my understanding, because his own personal financial disclosure form admits that he was paid by Weiner Lesniak during the year of 2014. It doesn't say for what, or how much, or when, but a non-lawyer cannot share fees with a lawyer. And Nick was not an eligible lawyer from October of 2014 to May of 2015. Nick's team is pretending this is no big deal, and he's been telling others to say so as well. Well, let me tell you something. A direct order from the Supreme Court of New Jersey is a big deal. I honestly feel like I'm in the twilight zone sometimes because here's a candidate for public office who is seven months late and suspended from the practice of law and people want to know if it's a big deal? It's a big deal! Paco told Hudson County View the scenario appeared to be the status quo for Hudson County politics. Is this something that happens from day to day? You think this is a special circumstance? Um, well, in Hudson County, it seems pretty ca commonplace. I mean, where I come from, if I didn't have proper bar credentials, my firm would know that the moment I came in to interview, and they wouldn't be giving me a job, I'll tell you that, let alone hire me as a partner at a politically connected law firm. The Republican also questioned how ethical it was for Shiravalati to work at Weider Lesniak, while also being employed as a consultant for Magic Strategies, LLC. However, a source with knowledge of the company told Hudson County View that Magic Strategies no longer exists and was fully dissolved in the first quarter of 2015. When Chiravalati was asked by Hudson County View if he ever practiced law with a suspended license, he dismissed Copco as a desperate candidate. We're in the final three weeks of an election campaign. Desperate candidates are going to say what they need to say. I'm going door to door, speaking with residents about improving public safety and education, specifically closing the achievement gap at Jersey City and Bayonne, he said, adding that he is also committed to fighting a solution regarding pension fund reform. The managing partners of Weider Lesniak, Paul Weider and State Senator Ray Lesniak, a likely 2017 Democratic gubernatorial candidate, did not return calls to their law officer and email address to both of them yesterday. I'm John Hydes, Bronson County View, the eye of the community.